A man is dead after a homicide in Racine on Tuesday afternoon. Fox 6's Aaron Maven live in Racine with the shock his family is feeling tonight. Aaron. Well, neighbors describe a chaotic uh, sound of gunfire yesterday. I want to show you this scene right here. You can see two balloons on this pole that was knocked over from the crash yesterday. 44 year old struck and killed by gunfire. Police haven't revealed much information, but we are hearing from neighbors and family. Near English and Green Streets in Racine, neighbors swept up the aftermath of a shooting and crash that played out Tuesday afternoon. And we heard this big boom and our lights went crazy. There's a whole bunch of shells out there. Cell phone video shows a chaotic scene after 2.30 p.m. Neighbors say the victim was driving a van when he was struck by gunfire and lost control of the vehicle. This image showing what appears to be a bullet hole. Gentleman crashed up against our car. And that's where I found him. One neighbor tried saving the man's life. And I tried cutting the airbags. I couldn't get that. And then I finally got the door open. And he moved around a little bit, a couple of breaths, and nothing after that. Wednesday afternoon. It's okay. No. Feeling, you know, it's very sad. Family of the 44 year old homicide victim searched for answers. Marwan Badwan identified the victim as his cousin, Musa Musa. He's a very nice guy. Very quiet, very nice guy, and you know, and the family, very nice family, very, they have nice kids too. Racine police have not released what led up to the homicide or how the victim was shot, but those impacted are hoping it doesn't happen here again. There's no reason to shoot somebody. It's just senseless, and it's, the violence is just terrible nowadays. So police haven't really released a lot of what fully led up to this shooting, why that victim was struck, or the latest in the suspect search is something that a lot of neighbors want to know right now and something we are working to get. We are hearing that there could be more information released tomorrow. Reporting live in Racine, Aaron Maven, Fox 6 News. Detectives continue to work hard on this case. Aaron, thanks.